Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Today we got another knife review. Another knife that is on loan to us from our good friend Tyler over at Valtac Tactical. He has provided us with a few knives once again for our pass around group. Now this one is the Steel Wheel Lanner. Now this one is the smaller version of the Lanner. There are two. This is the F35M01. M stands for Mini. And we'll talk about the differences a little bit later. But I wanted to point that out that this is the smaller of the two versions. Let's zoom out. Take a look at it. So you see here we've got a little bit of a new look. If you joined us on Saturday night for Saturday Night Live, we had new equipment. I've been talking about getting the mat forever so I could put the stickers on it so they wouldn't roll up on me. So now we got the new full look going on. So let's take a look at the lanner. See there? Now this is an Anton Tachenko design. I do hope I am pronouncing that correctly. But you've got black G10 scales. Stainless steel liner. You have a red aluminum backspacer. Y'all know I am digging that. Love the black and red combo. You got a stainless pocket clip for right or left hand. Tip up carry on the liner. Now this one, the smaller version, has a four and one quarter inch handle length on it. The larger version has a nearly five inch handle. So quite a difference, about three quarters of an inch. Manual flipper. It is a liner lock. Once you got it open, you will see the three and a quarter inch D2 drop point blade. Now the difference between the mini version that I have and the larger version, as far as blade length goes, is three, the larger version has a three and three quarter inch blade. So you're looking at about a half inch smaller blade on the mini version. Satin finish, three inch cutting edge. This side we've got Lanner, Chichenko Design, F35M, there's your mini, and it is D2. And I'm sure you saw on this side, has the Steel Wheel logo. A little bit of billboarding on this one. I, I prefer a much cleaner blade, but trust me, that wouldn't stop me from buying this knife. Overall, you've got a 7.5 inch fully open length. Now, where the larger version, the larger version is just over eight and a half inches. So you're looking at an overall difference of an inch to an inch and a quarter in difference as far as size between the mini and the larger version. Made in China. Let's get our measurements. stuff around once you be able to get a really good look at it oh yeah well we starting out in grams 92 grams 3.2 ounces for me that three to three and a half ounce weight is just a really awesome weight I am I love that weight of a knife Width, we're looking at just under that half inch mark, 0.47. So fairly low profile-ish in the pocket. 
and at its widest point not too bad of a pocket hog we're looking at just right around that inch and a quarter 1.28 so not too bad as far as the carry goes guys it carried like a dream like i said it's a great weight for me i love that weight really smooth in and out of pocket no issues whatsoever even with the textured you know mildly textured it's not too aggressive clip seems to have a pretty good spring on it very very happy with the way the lantern carry my overall take on the knife guys and that blade pops right out there no issue pretty snappy lock up really solid lock up um I am saying the liner's locking up at about, I'm going to say, right in that 30 to 40% range. So we'll go 35 just to make it simple. Great lock up on it. Jimping on the spine of the blade. Not a lot of it, but it is done pretty well. It does its job. It grabs the thumb pretty nicely. Combination with the jimping and the forward finger choil. You can definitely choke up and get a grip. The one thing you're going to want to watch out for is when you're on that forward choil, there's no protection from the blade. So if you want to take a measure to correct that, you know, that's always an option to protect yourself a little bit more. But you can use it. Use it fairly well, just know that you don't have a whole lot of protection from the blade. Normal grip, you got a lot of protection. Flipper tab comes around, makes a good finger guard. Really, really good grip in my hand. Feels really good. It's comfortable. Cannot... I, w I was concerned a little bit with that upturn on the pocket clip. You know, the ramp not bad at all i can feel it a little bit really good in hand good grip ability that g10 has got some great grip ability on it so overall really really good grip on the lantern overall i'm digging it i really like the lantern i was a big fan of the cut jack the cut jack mini so there's a lot of similarities between the two. I mean, obviously there's your, here's your minor differences. Um, blade shapes are very similar. Get my fingerprints off there. Handles, I mean, they're similar, a little less. A little less than the blade maybe. A few minor changes, but I really like the overall design of the knife. The Lanner, the Modus, the Cut Jack, the Cut Jack Mini, they're similar. But it's a, it's a, I like that design. Blue's digging it too. He gave it an 8.5. Now, this version of the Lantern retails for right around $60. I will leave a link down in the description to Valtax website where you can check out the Lantern more in depth if you would like. And as I said, just realize that this is a smaller version. This is the M, the mini version. So keep that in mind when you're checking them out. There you go, guys. That has been my review of the Steel Wheel Lanner. Once again, thank you to Tyler from Valtac for providing this knife for review. We greatly appreciate it. He takes good care of us. If you were... If you happen to miss Saturday Knife Live, I showed off a preview of some of the stuff that we have coming up in the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And I got a lot of stuff from Tyler, and Tyler was very nice and very generous to donate a really nice pack for the giveaway. So keep your eyes open for that. Also, <coughs> excuse me, also... Get on over to my buddy Jack Farm Boy's channel. He also has a 1,000 subscriber giveaway going on. He
He also has a lot of stuff from Valtac. He is in our Valtac pass around group. So make sure you get on over to his channel, get into his 1000 subscriber giveaway. Um, he's got an awesome channel over there, guys. If you don't know who Jack Farmboy is, get over there, check it out. He, he makes some awesome, awesome videos. As always, guys, I greatly appreciate you spending some time with me today. Like, subscribe, leave me a comment. I love talking to y'all. Until next time, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.